Is the Tesla semi-truck really better than its gas-powered counterpart? Since the announcement of the Tesla semi-truck by Elon Musk, a lot of people, especially freighters, have been expressing their fears about the vehicle. They want to know if it would deliver on its promises and how better it is than other gas-powered vehicles. Are you interested in how the Tesla semi-truck operates? Welcome back to AutoTech, and in this video we're going to go in-depth on the all-new Tesla semi-truck. For a long time, trucking has been the preferred method of transporting freight within the U.S., but it's ripe for innovation and improvement. Fortune 500 companies like PepsiCo that use trucks to move a lot of goods are burdened by enormous transportation bills and high greenhouse gas emissions. So many companies have been looking for clean and cost-effective replacements for their diesel-powered semi-truck fleets. Although semi-trucks make up just 1% of the U.S. vehicle fleet, they're responsible for around 18% of total greenhouse gas emissions. Electrifying this fiercely cost-conscious market has proven an even bigger challenge than electrifying light-duty trucks and cars, but Tesla's semi-truck could be ready for the job. After looking at the prototype interior, it seems its design is spacious with two big touchscreens, in which the driver can see the rear view with two cameras on both sides, left and right. The driver's seat is located in the center of the electric truck unlike traditional semis, which improves visibility and is also good for driver safety. Featuring many of the same design cues as other cars in Tesla's fleet, the new battery-powered big rig has a minimalist design, with a focus on functionality. The interior design of Tesla's new all-electric semi-truck is very impressive and undeniably attractive. According to Tesla's official website, currently, Tesla is planning to launch it with an independent motor on the rear axles. This will feature a towing capacity of over 80,000 pounds, and with the full load of 80,000 pounds, it can accelerate 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 20 seconds. It can also maintain a speed of 60 miles an hour, going up a gradient of 5%, something traditional trucks struggle with. However, at the beginning of the launch of the semi, Tesla planned to launch it with a four motor on the rear axles. But after some time, Tesla updated it, and now the Tesla semi is coming with a tri independent motor on the rear axles. The Tesla semi has the same motor as the Tesla Model 3, and each motor will produce 258 horsepower. So it is possible to see a total of 1,000 horsepower in this Tesla semi. Range, battery, and charging time. The Tesla Semi will come with two battery packs. One battery pack will give a range of 300 miles on a single charge, and the second battery pack will give an electric range of 500 miles on a single charge. Tesla has claimed that the Semi will give an energy consumption of less than 2 kilowatt hours, so we can expect the battery pack to be around 600 kilowatt hours. In an earlier interview with Elon Musk by Joe Rogan, Elon Musk revealed that the Semi will have a battery pack of 500 kilowatt hours, however. The Tesla Semi truck will come with a fast charging system by which it can be charged 0 to 70% in just 30 minutes. While this is extremely fast for an electric vehicle, much less an extra large truck, it will require the driver to spend more time off the road. In its current form, this could be a deal breaker for some drivers. Many drivers want to maximize the amount of time on the road, however with technological improvements eventually charging time will decrease. As of early 2023, Tesla has removed the order page and button for the Tesla semi-truck. When Tesla originally planned to launch the semi-truck with a quad-motor powertrain, its price started at $150,000 for the base model with 300 miles of range, and a higher $180,000 price tag for its larger 500-mile range brother. But now, Tesla is planning to launch it with a tri-motor powertrain, and Tesla has not yet revealed its current price it is expected that its price could be within the realm of the original price tag. Tesla has claimed that it will be 20% more affordable than compared to diesel trucks in terms of operational cost. The cost of a Tesla semi-electric truck is 1.26 per mile, while the cost of an average diesel truck is 1.51 per mile. Safety Features It is anticipated that the Tesla semi will have the brand's improved autopilot suite for safety features as standard. The list of safety features is expected to include an emergency automatic braking system, forward collision warning, automatic lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, and many more safety features. The Tesla Semi will have also an enhanced traction control system to prevent jackknifing. Jackknifing refers to the abnormal folding of highly articulated vehicles such as trailers due to uncontrollable inertia. 
This is when heavy trailers cause the truck to turn at awkward angles, often leading to accidents. Tesla engineers have incorporated an advanced traction control system where a jackknife can be completely averted. Infotainment and Connectivity Features The Tesla Semi will come with two large touchscreen infotainment displays in which the driver can see the rear view with two big touchscreens on both sides, left and right. Tesla has, however, not until now, revealed more information about the infotainment and connectivity features. However, based on other vehicles in the fleet, it can be expected that it could come with all modern infotainment and connectivity features, like a wireless charging pad, Spotify, Netflix, and many other media options. Tesla Semi Trucks Compared to Diesel Trucks Currently, diesel trucks cost about 17 cents a mile for maintenance. The Tesla Semi will almost certainly cost less as its electric powertrain has few parts that need maintenance at all. So that gives a little room to make the electric semi cheaper to operate when using fast chargers. One evident solution is to not use public fast chargers. Many companies buying these trucks want them to run cargo between their depots. The truck will load up at one depot and drive to the other. It will charge directly at those depots. There, the effort can be made to install and use cheaper power. These depots may install solar power, which is now much cheaper, but power only generates during the daytime, of course. If you want to charge trucks at night, or on less sunny days, you'll need to rely on the grid or battery backups at the depot. Long-haul trucks with a single driver can only drive 11 hours per day. That means that they can spend 13 hours each day charging. They can easily charge overnight at the slower speed of 50 kilowatts, which is slower than most cars use these days. The Tesla Semi doesn't have a bed or sleeper, so it can't be used for team driving. But in the future, Tesla may update with a larger version. Team trucks can drive 22 hours per day and are the fastest way to get cargo moving on land. A team truck will need to use those megawatt chargers to maximize the time spent on the road. Tesla claims they can refill 70% of the battery in about 30 minutes. In time, the price of high-power DC fast charging will come down, solar power will likely be in surplus, and the final result will be a cost much lower than its diesel counterpart. The Tesla Semi may sound expensive, but Tesla claims that the truck could offer fuel savings of over $200,000 and a two-year payback period. In the end, the Tesla Semi truck offers a brand new and innovative way to transport cargo. Do you think the Tesla Semi and other future battery-powered trucks will take over as the preferred choice of trucks? Or do you think diesel trucks are here to stay? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel for more electric vehicle videos. Until next time, thanks for watching Autotech.